Each September, Hindus all over India prepare to celebrate and worship one of their favorite gods. The back streets and workshops of Mumbai are abuzz with the mass production of clay statuettes. For this is the month of the festival of Ganesh Chaturthi, when people pay tribute to the god with the elephant's head, Ganapati or Ganesh. Mumbai, formerly Bombay, is India's largest city and the hub of the economy. There are over 12 million people here of mixed religions, including Muslims, Sikhs, Jains, Jews, Parsis and Christians. But the vast majority follow the world's oldest religion, founded 5,000 years ago, Hinduism. Gauri Kulkani and Ajit Joshi are school friends and neighbors. They both belong to upper caste Hindu families and live with their parents in the northern suburbs of the city. One of the highlights of their year, when schools and businesses close down for a week, is the Ganesh Chaturthi festival. Ganesh Chaturthi is a big annual festival for us. Whether the idol is brought home or not, everybody takes part in this festival with great enthusiasm. Even the idol that comes to someone else's home is treated as one's own. Then there are preparations to be made. A special shrine like a small temple has to be set up at home. Then Ganesh must be brought and worshipped with full musical accompaniment and regarded as a new and respected member of the family. For most Hindus, their home is their temple, and worship is a daily ritual. At the permanent family shrine in the kitchen, Gauri's mother performs a puja, a simple worship involving offerings of various kinds and the use of holy fire. Soon, other members of the extended family will start to arrive to celebrate together the arrival of Ganesh in the house. <laughs> I enjoy this festival in particular because it is very nice for everybody, not just for us kids because all the family come together. In these times when everyone has to lead fast-paced lives, people come together on holidays to pray and worship. We make the time to get together as a family in the name of our God. And then of course there are various special festival delicacies that are prepared and eaten with great relish. Ganesh Chaturthi is also a great public festival involving the whole community. The figure of Ganesh, often depicted with a sacred rat, is a popular symbol, the god of good fortune and learning, and an endearing character from the Hindu myths. The story is that the mother goddess Parvati was going for a bath and needed someone to keep watch. So she created a small boy called Ganesh from the dirt of her body and told him not under any circumstances to let anyone in. In the meantime, the great god Shiva comes and the boy does not know he is her husband and stops him entering the room. Shiva is enraged by the young boy's audacity and beheads him with his trident. Then Parvati comes out from her bathroom and mourns the death of the boy she regarded as her son. She insists that Shiva bring him to life again. But he has no head. So Shiva instructs his guards to bring him the head of the first creature they come across in the forest, which is how Ganesh came to have an elephant's head. In fact, Hindus believe in one god called Brahman, who is present in everything. But they also believe that this one supreme god can appear in many other godly forms, like Vishnu, Shiva, Parvati, and her son Ganesh. 
You know in our religion, whichever God you worship, ultimately it is the same one God. There is no such thing as one favorite God. But I do like Ganesh because he is the God of intelligence. I am a student and this is the age to ask the question why. All of the answers to the question why are given by the intelligence. And the Lord of intelligence is Ganesh. Ganpati Bappa! Mangala Murti! Ganpati Bappa! The night before the festival, Ajit's family go to buy one of the unfired clay Ganesh idols from the local dealer and carry it in procession to their home. Very early the following morning, Ajit's father begins a puja with offerings of food, flowers, incense and water to invite Ganesh to become present in the idol. He is guided in his worship by a 12-year-old boy priest who has 16 more pujas to attend before the day is out. Before the puja, it is only an idol of clay from the viewpoint of faith. But when the puja is performed, we chant special words which mean that the Ganesh idol has become enlivened with the spirit of the God and consecrated. The blessings from God. Most Hindus worship entirely at home, but some, especially older people, choose to go to the local temple, which is usually dedicated to a particular god. In this case, Ganesh and his father Shiva. Visiting the deity is like going to see a friend you respect and to whom you're bringing a gift. A bell is rung to attract the god's attention. Every day the priest performs the chanted Arti ceremony, in this case to the god Shiva. In Hinduism, there are said to be four stages to life, and it is often those in their last stage who choose to attend these ceremonies. The priest makes offerings on behalf of the people and holds up the holy purifying fire to Shiva's image. Arti is the worship of the sacred flame, or divine light, symbolizing God. At Gauri's house, the women of the household are painting footsteps on the floor to welcome the arrival of another deity, also called Gauri. But first, they must gather pebbles that will serve as symbols of the goddess and be laid beside Ganesh in his shrine. Gauri is another name for Parvati, who is Ganesh's mother. Ganesh cannot be mentioned without reference to his mother because it is she who created him. The pebbles are collected and brought home to symbolize her manifestation. Usually, they are found by the banks of a river and a prayer said to consecrate them and represent her presence next to Ganesh in his shrine. Hindus believe that part of God is in us all, the soul or Atman. When the body dies, the soul moves to another body, a process called samsara, 
or reincarnation, meaning rebirth. According to the law of karma, you will be reborn as a happier or more important person if you live a good life, and will eventually break this cycle of rebirth and escape from the physical world. This process is known as moksha, the ultimate goal of life. For children, though, there is also, at festival time, a fun side to Hinduism. I do feel happy about this festival. From a personal point of view, I feel this because everybody meets and gets together. A festive air of happiness fills the house, but in the community as a whole, it's also very important because there are cultural programs held every night. Through sermons, drama and music, not only is entertainment provided, but knowledge too is imparted. At the end of the festival, the Ganesh idol is carried with great ceremony by Gauri's father to the sea, where it will be immersed in the waves, along with thousands of others, large and small, from all over the city. Before the immersion, the family perform a final puja to say farewell to Ganesh until next year. And then he's taken down to be dissolved in the waves. He is taken away happily like a guest who is bid farewell and invited to come back. That is why we say Ganpati Bapa Moriya, come back soon next year. You are not going away forever, but must return soon to our home. It is only for a short while that we shall be away from each other. In fact, after the immersion of the idol, it always feels like a member of the family is missing. However much one denies it, it always feels like there is a presence in the house, someone in our midst. You feel and know there is someone to stand by you. It cannot be called blind faith. It is a belief. Every person needs a place to put his faith. Otherwise, he becomes arrogant on the strength of men's scientific discoveries and creations. But we have to accept there is someone else who created this universe and is greater than us. And for that, you need someone greater than yourself to bow before. Later that evening, the giant communal statues are carried down to the sea, where a million people on Chaupati Beach bid farewell for now to their favorite god with the hope that he will return again at the same time next year at the annual festival of Ganesh Chaturthi.